Hello, and thank you for watching our training video on Cloudscape. My name is Jeremy Littlejohn. I'm one of the founders here at Risk Networks. Let me tell you a little bit about us first. We were founded in 2007. We're headquartered in Asheville, North Carolina. We also have an office in Austin, Texas. We have 41 employees, and we've done over 10,000 assessments. What is Cloudscape is the first thing people usually will ask me. And Cloudscape is really an answer engine. It's designed to help our partners and customers get better answers about their IT environment so that they can be more efficient at taking advantage of new solutions. So some of those solutions might be things like public or private cloud. And what they need to understand is how to size an environment or what it will cost or what the dependencies are for applications that they may want to move there. Other answers may be around things like IT infrastructure. It may be a micro-segmentation project, or land segmentation, or disaster recovery. Cloudscape is designed to help you provide customers with better answers around all of these solutions. It's also designed to be a place that's continually updated for that customer so that as they complete one project or initiative and they roll into the next one, they can always come back to Cloudscape and get fresh, updated answers. These answers help customers take advantage of the other solutions they're trying to leverage. So whether, again, that be cloud or data center migration, DR, security, land segmentation, or just application portfolio management. So all of these are initiatives that customers are trying to accomplish. Cloudscape helps by taking their assets through a discovery, an agentless discovery process, turning those assets into applications, so what application stacks does the customer have? This is our application dependency mapping. And then doing additional analytics on those applications to see how they feed into these different use cases. And we'll show some of this when we do our demo in a few minutes. Here's the problem with doing this, though. People have tried to do this for years manually. And um, your engineering team might be sitting with a lot of spreadsheets and trying to get data. Or perhaps the customer has a CMDB that's a year and a half or two years out of date. Um, and really what they're looking at is this, which is just chaos. All these different machines talking to other machines, plugged into other network equipment. It's really hard to make heads or tails out of it. Um, and by the time you process the data, the data is out of date. So it's too late. What you need is something that's constantly updating and giving you an organized picture in an automated fashion. That's what Cloudscape does. We take chaos and turn it into order. Instead of just having a bunch of machines talking, we put them into the application stacks that they constitute. And then we've shown how those application stacks interact with one another. So a customer and you guys as our partners can make decisions on those stacks, whether they go to cloud, whether they go to another data center, how much I.O. do I need for them at the other data center? Should they be DR'd? How much DR do I need? What's the bandwidth? Uh, what ports need to be open in our firewall? All those questions are answered by the Cloudscape platform. We call it discovery and analytics. So discovery is kind of an encyclopedic picture of what you have. That's what the customer might have today. They've got a spreadsheet, a CMDB, something like that. But what they don't have, you know, as you guys know, if you look at a Google, if you type in New York and Chicago, you could see in the encyclopedia stuff about those cities. But if you go to Google, it's going to say, oh, do you want to fly there? Do you want to drive there? How do you want, what do you want to do? So there's some context to it. And that's what we provide through Cloudscape for your customers. There's this uh, very specific story here around how people use our platform. So foundationally, they get organized around their applications. So what do I have and what apps does it do? Some, for some customers, that's all they need right now. For others, then they're going to get use case specific. So they may want to classify or analyze their applications for things like DR, migration, retirement. So I just want to shut down. I want to be more cost effective. So I want to shut down some of my IT environment. I want to look at component level cost for cloud or for private cloud sizing out hyperconverged systems. I want to take some actions such as migration 
or I want to uh, start a project of integrating applications. Maybe all of my healthcare apps need to integrate to my Meditech app, and so I need to understand where they do and don't already. And then you want to be able to track all of that ongoing and be giving a customer a constantly updated picture of what's happening in their environment. Our software is proven in the market. Uh, we are the go-to partner for discovery for Amazon. Um, we have a wonderful case study that you can use. It's partner, it's not partner specific, I should say. Um, the link is here in the video. Uh, it talks about Turner Broadcasting who used our platform to jumpstart their cloud migration project, but also to shut down 10% of their IT environment. So a massive cost savings, security improvement, et cetera, by running our analytics. Uh, and in that engagement, um, from a competitive standpoint, we uh, beat out tools like HP's Universal Discovery and um, some, some additional uh, CMDB platforms as well as other discovery tools. So it's a great um, video that you can send. There's also a data sheet case study on it. This is how we accomplish this. We do agent list collection. That's a big differentiator for us. A lot of tools on the market can do some of what we do, but they have to have an agent installed, which defeats the whole purpose of discovery. We're going to support Windows, Linux, Unix, AIX, and VMware. We're going to make as much of this automated as possible, which I'll show you today quickly, uh, in the ad intelligence phase. And then you guys have some very nice reporting that you can use and you can give to your customers and let them log in and see uh, in the consumption phase. Ultimately, we don't take any action. So that's something we push back to our partner channel. You're the ones who are going to actually help a customer solve a problem or do something in their environment. We, won't, we want to provide you with all the analytics you need to execute. This is the engagement methodology. You'll deploy a virtual appliance at the customer. You'll do some discovery. So discovery means getting all the asset information. As you can see down there, it might take one day. It might take seven days. That's not of work. That's just of time going back and forth with the customer, running a couple of scans. The scope there is unlimited, so you can discover as much as you want at a customer. Asset information is 100% free in our platform for you. Once you've discovered the assets, then you can license them. Licensing tells us to go back and collect performance and dependency data in an ongoing fashion. Once that license is applied and we've collected data, all data collected stays in the platform for 12 months. And that licensing can be moved around. So it's super, super flexible process for your teams to be able to execute. Don't get stuck on how many servers does the customer have. Go in and do the discovery. It's a no charge discovery. Once you know what they have, you can purchase the licensing and then apply it and then get your ongoing dependency mapping and performance. We also have a flex deploy option, which allows them to do all of this on premise. If you have customers who have security requirements, they can keep their data on site um, or use our traditional deployment, which is in the cloud. Let me show you a quick demo. So I'm logging into the portal here. Uh, what you're not seeing is that we have a collection appliance on premise. I'm going to reset our demo data. You guys can have access to these demos too to show your customers if you'd like. So on premise, there's an appliance collecting information and sending it to the portal. When you first log in, it will just be assets. So again, asset information for us is operating systems, um, CPU cores, etc., cetera, um, memory, all this type of information that you see down here. All of this is exportable, so you can take it out and work with it offline if you need to. Um, we're looking at Windows servers, network infrastructure, so if you want to know how many routers or switches or firewalls they have, uh, VMware infrastructure, how many VMware hosts, what versions, uh, virtual machines, Linux and Unix devices. Again, this piece is completely... Uh, free for you to do as much discovery as you want. So there's no limitation here on scope. Once you collect that data, you'll go in and license it. Uh, license the servers that you want to collect performance and or connectivity data on. 
all right? So it'll look like this. What that does is it begins to collect uh, connectivity information. And uh, that connectivity information, if I were to just look at it in a raw format, would look something like this. Um, it's really unmanageable, candidly, um, not for a human to deal with. All right? So this is uh, one server and all of the other servers that it's talking to. So as you can see, it's, a, it's chaos. If you take this from a, one server to 100 servers to 1,000 servers to 10,000 servers, it quickly becomes completely unworkable for a human. Um, so that's why you'll use our platform, uh, our machine learning, and our algorithms to help take information like this and add intelligence to it. So here, instead of dealing with all of this connectivity, what you can do is you could come over and say, hey, uh, can you just build my application stacks for me? So we'll build app stacks. This process takes a minute or two to run. And what it's doing is it's processing all of that connectivity data, all of the behavioral data within the system what applications individual servers are running, how they communicate to other servers and the heuristics of that. Once it's processed all of that, it will place them into application stacks. And in just a moment, I'll show you what those uh, stacks look like. This process is 100% automated. So there's nothing for you to input, as you can see. Um, we just wait for the application to complete its analysis of the customer's infrastructure. Um, this scales anywhere from five servers to, to 50,000 servers. Um, we, our largest engagement today is 27,000 servers um, as part of a divestiture for a company. So we can scale up as big as you need to go. So we're done now building app stacks. And we're, before we had no stacks and just servers, now what we have are 43 application stacks right? and those 43 application stacks are made up of individual servers that communicate with one another as you can see here um, the detail of this communication you can click on a link and see exactly what is communicating why these two servers are talking what applications are holding open that this is the alert services uh, application talking here all right, you can get into seeing which ports need to be open. In addition, if you had done flow capture with our platform, you would see things like bandwidth, average and max bandwidth, uh, network latency. So if you're doing a project around a WAN consolidation or software-defined WAN, or if you're trying to determine if I can separate two application stacks, you can see what the bandwidth requirements are between them. So at an application level, you can see um, this type of detail. If you come out a level, you can see how all the applications interact with one another. So this is what's called our stack-to-stack -stack visualization. Here I can see how all my different application stacks interact with one another. If I want to know um, which applications, for example, are consumed by Citrix users, I could click on the Citrix application and see that it uses Active Directory, Exchange, and Auto App 5 along with Auto App 7. So again, I can use this information to understand the footprint of any application within my customer's environment and what, what the dependencies are for that application. Once I understand the application stacks, I can begin to do some use case specific analytics on them. So the first thing is to look for issues. Um, so we're gonna look and check for things like in to support hardware, in to support software, performance problems, hypervisor oversubscription. So all those things that might impact an application's performance or reliability or scalability, we're checking for every day and tracking for that customer. So they can click to see where they might have a problem and see that down below. In addition, we're going to do some classification for them. So what are their top applications? This is great for DR. So if I'm trying to decide which apps I need to do disaster recovery on, I need to know which ones are used most by external users versus internal users. I need to know how easy or hard it is to migrate a particular application into cloud. So whether I have to re-platform that application or I can just re-host it. 
I may want to understand how many different tiers are within the application. So where do I have database and web and cluster servers and middleware and so forth. So I can do a lot of analytics around those applications. I can also search and use advanced rule sets to tag additional information that you may want, such as where does where is their HIPAA data or PCI data so we can flag those applications from an um, analysis standpoint. I can then provide costing. So uh, if my customers are looking at private cloud or a public cloud, rather, I can look and see what it will cost to run at AWS or Azure, or Google, or Oracle. I can show them what the optimized pricing is. So basically inventory versus usage. So you're probably over provisioned. I can help you right size and save you money. And on most cases, we're saving a customer about 66%. But if they're doing a private cloud or, or they're doing a resource pool based cloud, I can help them with that too. So here I can show them just what their IO requirements are. So forget about cost of instance-based clouds. I just need to know how much CPU, how much memory, how much disk space I need for an app. And as you get your engineering team engaged, you can get all the way into looking at individual IOP metrics at each hour of the day. So I want to see the aggregate um, disk. Um, here we go, the aggregated disk I.O. rate right for all of the servers within an application stack by hour of the day and I can use this information to plan from a performance standpoint uh, for my applications ultimately then you may want to migrate an app or you may want to take some action on an application so I'll show you that uh, I can quickly come in here and uh, take there's an action button right so I can update a CMDB um, I can my export to a migration tool like River Meadow, Cloud Velox, I can update CMDB, etc. So I can take actions on this. Obviously, you guys are the ones who are going to be taking those actions with that customer. And then ultimately, we want to be able to track it ongoing. So we can do our performance and trending. We can see how that application is changing over time. Um, we can see which applications are improving and which are not. This allows you to get to the detail of individual applications, um, going in, seeing which servers, for example, are having difficulty. You know, here you can think more kind of traditional network monitoring, uh, where you may want to just uh, see what the CPU memory disk utilization is for a particular server um, as you work with a client, right? You're going to track this on an ongoing basis, trend it for them. Uh, show them what's happening in their environment. So this is what the Cloudscape platform allows you to do. It's a package of analytics that allows you to talk with a customer and give them detailed information, give them much better answers to the questions they're looking to get answers to, right? And help them execute and be much more efficient at capturing the value of DR, LAN and WAN segmentation, cloud, both public and private, as well as security and performance modeling. So thanks for taking time today to listen to our video. Um, you can reach us at sales at risknetworks.com, and we can help you if you need uh, assistance in um, specking out um, customer quotes or doing demos, showing a customer the value of the platform, and we look forward to working with you. Thanks again.